Mike's Mix is also celebrating mm -hmm. in St. Paul this week in a spot that's close to the parade, but not quite in the middle of all the chaos. And it's also a place the whole family can celebrate the holiday. This is Emmett's Public House in St. Paul and Grand Avenue. A traditional public house in Ireland wasn't just a bar, it was a gathering point for families. You would go and, you know, there'd be kids playing in the corner and, you know, while dad was sitting at the pint, at the bar having a pint with his friends. Happy St. Patrick's Day! On a holiday weekend where celebrations could easily get out of hand, Emmett's may be the perfect balance of fun and family. Kids and, you know, families are welcomed on Saturday. Little ones can belly up to the bar during the day and we don't have a problem with it. It builds that sense of family. We want everyone to be here. Family and tradition run through everything at Emmett's from the ground up. When Emmett, the namesake of the bar, passed away, his family threw around the idea of, let's get a place and honor dad, and he loved this, the idea of sense of community and building it. Emmett's son, Peter, and his siblings built on the traditions of the Emerald Isle to give Grand Avenue a place to raise a pint. You know, the, the big thing is um, snug. It's like the little booths around here and the dividers on the bar to help keep it, you know, an intimate space. So that snug in the corner is um, all came from Galvin's pub in downtown St. Paul. The uh, chandelier, the table is made from panelings from the ceilings and walls, and then the, all the artwork was given to us by the Galvin family. Saturday is a big day. We're looking at first Saturday St. Patrick's Day since we've been open, and it's also our uh, third birthday anniversary. Well, birth anniversary. Birth anniversary. Sure, yeah. <laughs> let's call it that. If you're into more than just Guinness and Irish whiskey, the luck of the Irish is with you all year here. These cocktails are always on the menu. The first is a beer tail, right? Yes, this is one of our f uh, staff favorites right now. It's um, we call it the Irish Pledge. One ounce of the intensely sweet and herbal liqueur made by monks Benedictine, and the sherry, which is a fortified wine. The smooth, malty, sweet oatmeal stout looks heavy. But topped with nutmeg, the result is... That's actually not anywhere near as um, dank as I expected. It Actually, there are some bright notes there. Yes. I don't know if it's the sherry or the Benedictine, but... They complement each other very well. The next cocktail we're going to do is our Dublin Sour. It's an Irish version of the New York Sour, which debuted under yet another name in the 1870s in Chicago. Nice pour of Jameson Irish whiskey. Equal parts lemon juice and simple syrup. And then drizzle Malbec on top to give it that layered effect. The Dublin Sour. Very simple, very classic, very Irish. Emmett's opens in seven minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, Who's if you, counting? If you, <laughs> that's if you want to have an Irish breakfast before the parade at noon. And uh, today only, they're actually expanding into Dixie's on Grand, mm. which is their sister restaurant. It's connected inside, and there's more seating for you there. If you prefer to make today's cocktails at home, though, you can go to get the recipe at wcco.com slash Mike's Mix.